straight up, my in the four years I worked at Def Jam from 89 to 93, my 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 favorite moment on the road might very well be having nothing to do with hip hop. We were at the BRE convention, the Black Radio, uh, it was a um like an industry trade magazine similar to the Gavin. And um it was in New Orleans. This is back in like 91, I think maybe 92. Def Jam as an entity was affiliated with Rush Artist Management, you know, which the two were like equally as high as you can get for anything related to business and hip hop. They were launching the Rush Associated Labels, which was like JMJ Records, Doodle Man Records, which was Prince Paul's joint, No Face Records, and they were just trying to expand the, you know, the palette for what they could offer. And um, so they brought down the heavy horses, they brought down Select Rick, they brought down um, PE, they brought, I mean, I can't even remember the lineup, but it was like 20, 25 acts at the BRE. So I did my little exit and I found a YMCA, you know, the local gym. I'm a ball player, you know, anywhere I travel in the world. I've been to five continents, over 40, maybe 45 countries at this point, DJing, playing ball. Anywhere I'm at, I'm trying to find the local court. Let me meet the regular cats. I'm not trying to always meet the VIP, the, you know. So I get to the court and guess who's there? The God Rakim, Rakim Allah. Now, I'm like, yo, I don't know Rob play ball. I saw him the night before at the, at the performance. So he's there with all his peoples from LI. And uh, we started running fools. Yo, it's dumb hot in there. They got four um, fans on each corner of the, of the court, right? And they're, they're like the size of like an airplane, like a uh, jet propeller joint, huge. Yo, this gym was probably built in like 1912 or something, you know, like Je James Naismith might have played there at one point. It's dumb old. So we running fools, we running fools. And see, back then, like, you know, I had a fancy game. I always had a fancy game, right? I always leaned towards like, you know, being creative. And, you know, this is years before and one promoted the whole street ball, you know? But I grew up playing ball in Harlem and that's how we rocked. You know, we were all trying to be individual, you know, you shoot your jump shot the same way every th every time, but everything else, passing, dribbling, got to be different. So I came down on the court, and Rakim's man was 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 guarding me, and I went to the paint and I threw the ball dumb hard through my leg, hung, and I had a trailer behind me at the foul line, and I reached back to look at him, so the defender started running towards the trailer. And then as I look back at the trailer, I reached my hand back here, caught the ball, and then said, hung, and threw it in front of me and laid the ball up. Now these dudes, I mean, this is Rakim, B. You gotta understand, this is the God Allah. Like, this is the greatest MC at that point, and maybe still even to this day. He's looking at me like, yo, what did you just do? He doesn't say nothing, though. Doesn't say nothing. His mans and them is like, yo, that was crazy. We keep on playing. We finished the game, I'm sitting on the bleacher, I'm drenched in sweat. I had on the low cut Adidas forms, black with white stripes, which you couldn't find in New York, but I found them in New Orleans. Quiet as kept. All right, boom, that's what I had on, the forms. Anyway, so I'm sitting there on the bench, Rakim sits next to me, yo, looks at me, he's like, he's like yo, what's your name? And I'm like, Bob, give him a pound. Never seen Rakim smile. Ghetto, nobody's smiling. You know the word. Yo, he looks at me, he's like, got a nice game, yo. I said, oh, Rakim. Rakim? Show me love? That was crazy. That's my best memory on the road. Now, for the younger cats that don't understand, go back and listen to his third album. But let the rhythm hit them and the ghetto mahogany keep them eager to listen and then you'll understand what i mean by that <laughs>